Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. In this video, we're checking out something really, really clever. So as you guys know, I love to seek out new, interesting, and unusual music gear, and the Live Master certainly falls into this category. It's a totally different way to think about constructing a pedal board. So what I have here is the LM7. Now the 7 refers to the 7 slots or bays where you can dock effects pedals. So you can see these contact points, hopefully, all the way along the pedal. All you do is you grab an effects pedal, dock it into the bay, and this is kind of like the brains or the controller behind the whole thing, and I'll show you how that works. All right, so we've got a bunch of these mini pedals. What we're gonna do is choose from these effects and build an ultra compact pedal board. So we've got overdrive, distortion, tram boost, chorus, fuzz, crunch, overdrive, tuner, amp switching, delay, reverb, that kind of stuff. So your basic effects. Um, and what we're gonna do is just kind of show you guys how you know small they are for scale. So this is a regular size pedal. So it looks like absolutely massive, but it isn't. So these little guys are probably, you know, just over a third the height and, you know, much, much thinner and lighter. So just to show for scale, uh, all these little mini pedals are pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is load up our LM7 and see what we can do. Okay, well, let's load up our LM7 with some effects units. So I think I'm going to start off with, of course, a tuner. That seems smart. So all you have to do is click it in and then let's go from maybe low gain to high gain so let's slap in an overdrive there we go uh, crunch and distortion there are a couple other there's a fuzz and there's um, a green overdrive which I think is likely a tube screamer so anyway let's keep going here we've got a couple more slots um, you know what let's do a boost for soloing I think I'm just going to try, you know, mostly to focus on see how the overdrive, you know, pedal sound. And then let's put in a double slot. This is delay and reverb. I'll try to get it on the camera here. Click it in. Now, if you ever want to remove a unit, it's very, very easy. You just click it there and pop it out. You know, put your tram in, put your chorus in or whatever. Very, very easy to take effects in and out. Okay, so I've thrown the Live Master up on a music stand next to me. I'm just going to show you guys some basic controls. Now, tuner, if you ever want to engage it, just hit A, B together, and your tuner is on. Other than that, you can program this thing to stack pedals, to mix and match. It's perfect. So if I hit my A bank, you can see overdrive is lit up. Now, if I want to stack that with distortion, I just hit number four. You'll see distortion goes on, or perhaps boost or crunch. You can mix and match however you want or delay reverb. And then if you want to save it, you just press and hold and you've got your new sound. It's just that easy. Now, for today's demo, I just want each pedal on individually. Um, so B is going to be crunch, distortion, and boost. Now, the cool thing about the boost is you can use it on your clean signal or you can use it with any other pedal just by hitting here. So if you're on your crunch tone and you're like, okay, I got a solo coming up, you hit here, boom, your boost pedal is engaged with there. You do your solo, click it off, you're back to your rhythm. So really, really, you know, handy stuff. So this thing is really easy to use and program. There's no LCD screen. There's no, you know, menu diving. Everything literally has, you know, a physical knob or a toggle. So I like that. Now, I should mention there's actually two banks. So once you set up your red bank right here with, you know, all your combinations of pedals and stuff, you can just hit here and go to your blue bank. Now, you may have noticed on my blue bank, delay and reverb is, you know, initiated. So whenever I have any of my pedals here, you can see crunch with delay and reverb, distortion with delay and reverb, boost, all three for soloing or whatever. And then when I go back to my red bank, delay and reverb is off. So the way I have mine set up is my red bank is kind of like my dry setting. And then when I want, you know, that extra delay reverb, boom, go to my blue bank and all my settings include that. So that's just a really basic way to program it, um, but really, really useful. Well, now it's time for the fun stuff. Let's check out these pedals and what they actually do. So today I'm going to be playing on a 10S guitar. This is their GF series and this is Aged Silverburst. Very, very cool guitar. Uh, very affordable, but plays really well. Now, from there, we're going into my Wong's amp. This is the 1987 HW. It's an all hand wired amp based on a classic. And as you can see, we've got a couple of the inputs bridged. 
All right, so here's my basic clean tone. So just a really nice, you know, warm humbuckery tone. And as you could hear, I'm kind of just on the edge of breakup because I want to try out the boost pedal. I'm going to hit the front end of the tube amp with the boost pedal and see if we can drive the amp from kind of just on the edge to full on distortion. <laughs> Okay, so let's kick things off with our low gain pedal, see what that sounds like. Now let's say take that gain and kind of go up to more like 12 o'clock. And push it a little bit beyond and take our tone and kind of crisp it up, see what kind of kind of crunchy tones we can get. Okay, so let's move on and check out the crunch pedal. All right, so now let's move over to the distortion pedal. I wanna see what kind of gain we can get out of this. Now the cool thing about this pedal is there's three different settings on the dip switch plus a very very wide you know range of tone. So in the dips when the dip switch is in the bottom, when it's in the middle, when it's in the top, and each one sort of has its own unique EQ profile. All right, so now let's check out that delay pedal. Put a little bit more delay in the signal. So really useful, really cool. So that really only scratches the surface of what each overdrive pedal can do, but I want to quickly show you guys the chorus and the tram. So chorus, here we go. And again, you can get like really crazy chorus. <laughs> Where it's like really, you know, putting you out of tune. Add some trim. So here are my final thoughts on the Live Master. Number one, very clever design in that it's so simple to use. 
You want a parameter changed, you grab a knob, you twist it, you got a new tone, just like a regular pedal. But once it goes into the old housing, it suddenly becomes a little smarter in terms of some basic programming, grouping pedals together and all that kind of stuff, boosts for solos, a couple different banks, but it's all really easy to use. So very simple, but also very smart. Number two, this thing is tiny. Put it in your gig bag, your backpack, or your hard shell case, and you're ready to go. And number three, it's super affordable. So I know they're running some promos right now. I will link to them in the video description below. If you guys want more information on pricing and the deals right now, you can click there and check it out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo. All my links, including the t-shirt store, the tab store, all that stuff will be down in the video description below as well. Have yourself a great day.